And here we go, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and we are here live at the Monarchy Compound, situated in beautiful Los Angeles, California, and it's a gorgeous night here, and I'm with none other than Terror Tank. John, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. What a card we have tonight. Tonight is going to be action-packed. I can't wait to get this started. Indeed it is, and uh, of course, in case I didn't mention it earlier, I am one charming man, and uh, we've got a lot of tournament action tonight. In fact... The, uh, the second round of the Million Dollar Championship Tournament will conclude tonight, as well as the first round and some of the second round of the Cruiserweight Championship match as we go into this very interesting uh, part of the tournament. As you'll see on screen right now, uh, we have a lot of, of action coming up next, And uh, but here, here's the kicker. Ricochet versus Tommaso Ciampa in what is going to be a frenetic match, I assume. I think it's gonna be a very high fly, high impact, exciting match. And it is the end of the first round of the Cruiserweight Tournament. That is indeed true. And uh, that and the rest of our show coming up next on Monday Night Monarchy. Until then, we'll be right back with more action. We're Terror Tank. We'll be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are here on Monday Night Monarchy looking to conclude the first round of the Cruiserweight Championship Tournament as we await the matchup of the one and only... Ricochet as he looks to go up against some on Champa. The crowd is electrified here tonight and we have a huge matchup about to take off. This is gonna be an amazing opener for tonight's event. I would say so as well. Uh, uh, you know when you look at Ricochet, he's had matches with the likes of people like Will Ospreay. He's been in NXT, and uh, he's been in Lucha Underground, or, I, I think, and uh, <laughs> when it comes down to it, Ricochet is actually one of the most, uh, I guess you could say, um, well, seasoned veterans of the independent circuit. He's been all over the place. He's been all over the world, and in fact, I would say he's one of the most talented wrestlers to, like, today. One might say he can hop like a puma, as mm. you just seen there, mm. and they call him the prince. Oh, uh, true. The cruiserweight. Oh, I, I like that right there. Ricochet. Uh, you know, I think that when it comes down to it, Ricochet, he's got an interesting matchup right here. Of course, the winner of this match will actually go on to face Kalisto in the second round of the Cruiserweight Championship Tournament in what I would say was an upset. Uh, uh, last week when uh, Kalisto... Uh, I would agree. Joined that again. was an amazing match. Uh, uh, in case you were able to make it to our uh, live event. Of course, the live event that we had over the weekend... Uh, we, we have a couple pictures of that and uh, well, hold on wait well, hold on we we need, to, we need to address the elephant in the room here comes Tommaso Ciampa this man is a powerhouse he is also I would say kind of crazy he has a screw loser too up there very angry individual um, this is going to be a very interesting match but I think we're in for a hell of a barn burner uh, you know what I would say that despite this being the opener right now this, uh, this entire uh, show uh, Tommaso Ciampa and Ricochet have all the makings to make this a five-star classic. And I agree 100%, Charmy. But uh, who do you think Terra Tank wants it more? Who wants the, a taste of gold more? Do you think Ricochet, like the one who has a lot to prove, or do you think Tommaso Ciampa is looking to regain gold after uh, the NXT reign that he just had? I think they both want it, but I think Ricochet wants to prove himself more wow. to this company. I think he's very determined. He has the heart of a line, if you will. And we're about to find out what happens right now. As and here the we bell go. Is Ryan. We're Jeff underway. Against referee Taki Yuki Nakamura Jr. will ring the bell. Ricochet uh, gets into a tie with Tommaso Champa after a small kick to the gut. And now we're in the corner. Lock up. Oh, it looks like the two will not let go. And, to, and already, Japanese referee Taki Yuki Nakamura Jr. has to break things up. Uh, ooh, German oh suplex. My God. Champa already taking Ricochet to Suplex City and Ricochet with a combat roll oh. misses the drop kick. Oh, and a clubbing blow to the face of Ricochet. And now Champa looking for a suplex. Oh, oh my he God. says psych and knees of falling Ricochet. Ricochet Ooh. fighting back now. Oh, and it looks and like. It goes for a, knee, a kick to the face, but Tomasha uh, counters oh, it. Oh, another a German suplex. suplex. Uh -oh. oh, and he's keeping it locked in, going for another one. Oh, my God. And now looking and for our third German suplex. Oh, my God. Dropping Ricochet on the back of the head. And you know, Ricochet, he's been in New Japan Pro Wrestling. He knows how to take a couple of stiff maneuvers, but this is just brutal. Tomasha Champa goes for the knee. Oh, wait a minute. On the injured knee. On the injured knee. Double oh. knees. 
Tommaso Ciampa just hit his knee. Oh, oh he's saying. Oh, close oh wait, wait a minute. Line. Get no close line to the outside. And you know, this match is going suspiciously similar like the Adam, oh, the, the, not the Adam Cole, the Ricochet, oh, the, the Kalisto and Johnny Gargano match that happened at the house show that we were talking about earlier on in this programming. And now Ricochet, looking for a kick to the midsection. DDT. Huge DDT. And he springs back up. Uh, you know, who do you think here has the advantage when it comes to wrestling, uh, Terra Tank? You see Ricochet with the oh, just a moving back the head of Ricochet of uh, of Tommaso Champa. I say, pure strength wise, ooh. Champa has it as you've oh, seen ooh. right there. But how much? But resiliency is Ricochet's game. You would say that, and he reverses the knee right there. The drop kick. His own drop kick, and Ricochet, of course, showing so far right now why he is one of the the one and only going for that crucifix pin. Almost in the one-two. Two count, and he kicks out. Champa. Right before three. Oh, my God. Champa might be thinking twice about what exactly is going on in this match. Perhaps he's under-appreciating the greatness of Ricochet as he goes in and out of the ring just to get out. Oh, oh my God. A diamond cutter. <laughs> uh, or a diamond cutter. I think I was only referring to it. The most newest oh, version of it. And that was like a, almost a, a complete face buster right onto the mat. And now no, Ricochet going up high. Oh, 450. Oh, oh that was 680. I think. Is it over? One, One, two, three. three. It's over. Ricochet, Ricochet wins. wins. I wasn't expecting this, Charming. Both members of DIY have been eliminated from the Cruiserweight Championship Tournament. What does this failure say for both of the members? Do you think perhaps they'll be looking at each other to find some strength, perhaps? Uh, I don't I don't even know what to hold say. On, Wait a minute. Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Ricochet, ask your friend. Tommaso Ciampa is oh, handshake and two. Very wow. professional, very sportsmanlike. Tommaso Ciampa showing a rare sign of sportsmanship. Showing grace in the ring. Very nice. Uh, very, um, very, uh, I just can't believe what we've seen here yeah. tonight. Well, I'll tell you right now. But I, he w he lost with grace tonight. I think when it comes matters. down to it, I think that Tommaso Ciampa is a, is a new man after losing that match right there. I think he might have seen a change perhaps very in humble. his own personality, but... Uh, well, that is not the end of the Cruiserweight uh, action that we're going to have tonight. Coming up next is going to be Adam Cole versus Gentleman Jack Geller in round number two of the championship, uh, the Cruiserweight Championship Tournament. Uh, yes. That and much more coming up next on Monday Monarchy for Terror Tank. I'm one charming man. We'll be right back. Dude, that's a fucking score. Yep. <laughs> Welcome back to Monday Night Monarchy, and what a way for you to be welcomed back into programming than the leader of the Undisputed Era. That's Adam Cole, baby. Here and comes Charming's Golden Boy. That's right. Coming to the ring now. And let me tell you, this isn't just a Golden Boy. He's going to be the face of Monday Night Monarchy. I can just tell. And let me tell you, right now he's got a very interesting matchup with Gentleman Jack Geller who gave a hell of a fight to Hideo Tommy in the first round by working on his back. But, let me tell you right now, Gentleman Jack Gallagher might be smart, but Adam Cole's a genius. I don't know what's going to happen here though, because both of these men have changed their Wait, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Remember favorite part. I always love when he does that. I always love when he does that, Terry Tang. I always love when he does that. You know, you know what? I, I try to be... I try to call it down the middle. And Hold on. Here comes my second favorite part. Listen to that crowd, Terry Tang. Let's just, just, just feel the energy of the response of the crowd back to Adam Cole. How can you just deny the strength of the greatness of Adam Cole, baby? In most cases, I would say Adam Cole has this 100%. But after what we've seen in our live event last week... Uh, gentleman Jack Gallagher dominating in his match. As Adam Cole, that's like I was trying to say, they, they both changed their attitudes and their way of thinking for this tournament. So I'm just more curious to see what happens. I'm not going to call it yet. Uh, you know what? I'll tell you what. That's fair. 
Because as much as I am high on Adam Cole, I'll be the first to tell you that Jack Gallagher is one of my favorite technical wrestlers in the game today. He really knows how to work your arms, and we saw it again today with Tommy, who's a yeah, multiple times, really, very fast. And Tommy's a talented striker, and I think Jack Gallagher knew, so that makes me think he probably did his homework on Adam Cole, but there's lies my doubt. How can you do your homework on someone who does the most homework in the game? I don't know, but I think Tommy has, has been in the hospital. He might need physical therapy after what he did to his arm. I mean, we don't even know what's going on with Tommy. We haven't heard anything from him ever since he was transferred to a, a local medical facility but, uh, at that house show that happened. Of course, we ha have just still photos of what occurred at that uh, show. Um, of course, you'll see on screen right now uh, some of the highlights of what happened between the match between uh, Jack Gallagher and Dale with Tommy. The people in attendance will tell you it was a very brutal matchup as we get things started here in Los Angeles. We are underway. Oh, so arms to the face and now face. a chop to the chest. Oh, kick to the midsection. By almost, Gallagher. almost a semi oh super God. kick by Jack Gallagher. We, I, I told you he was going to do his, uh, his, uh, you know, his, his homework when it comes to facing uh, Adam Cole. And you'll see he's using his own maneuvers and now, ooh, embracing the damage. And now Adam Cole. Oh, oh my God! Just dropping Jack Gallagher right onto his neck, and now oh my God! Adam Cole just doing so much damage right now to Jack Gallagher. Can you believe this would have started so like you know one-sided? Well, Gallagher came out of the gates hot and ready to go. Ooh. It might have worked against him. As but soon wait as a I minute. see that Jack Gallagher gets a, I would say a half count. And a stomp to the chest. I, I mean, oh, here comes oh, the arm bar. Arm bar, but he's close to those ropes. We, uh, Jack Gallagher, you know, we have to mention that he has MMA background, and that's something that Adam Cole will lack, but Adam Cole's got something more than that. Like I said, he's been all over the place when it comes to wrestling, and I believe that even with all these things, they, oh, he'll walk, he'll run right past that drop kick. but Jack Gallagher sees him coming, goes for the kick. Adam Cole with an elbow to the face, snap mare right onto the floor, and now Adam Cole looking to work on the jaw with a jaw lock right there in the middle of the ring. Jack Gallagher trying to get back to his feet perhaps or, or loosen the grip of Adam Cole as he's taking damage right now. The cruiserweight in trouble. You can tell Gallagher is in a lot of pain here, but he's working oh, his way out. Oh, my God. Almost a semi-stunner to the jaw of Adam Cole, baby, as he'll take the European uppercut to the base. And now, ooh, dropping the face of uh, uh, Jack Gallagher onto the, the floor. Ooh, arm drag. By Jack Gallagher, this is so far back and forth action right Very here. Back and forth, gentlemen. But I would say for the most part, oh, ooh, ooh, oh my, ooh, oh my God. face first oh into the turnbuckle goes Adam Cole. Brutal offense by Jack Gallagher, who I would say just even the score when it comes to what the the score is in this match and the maneuvers. Ooh, goes for a kick. Adam Cole's slick enough to get around it, and now Jack Gallagher. Ooh, oh, forearm, mouth. Yeah, exactly. He got him in the lip almost. Ooh, oh, he went, he went for a headbutt, but he got a European uppercut when to he, return. When he leaned in. Oh, oh he got it. He got the headbutt. And this time he gets it. And now Jack Gallagher is showing, he's showing a lot of resiliency right now. As one, Adam Cole. Two. He Ooh. got a two count there. Ooh, and last time it wasn't a one count now. It was a one and a half just about. You know? Yeah, so he's really working. I mean, he's getting closer and closer. This is exactly what he was doing against Hideo Tommy. So it would appear so far Gallagher's plan. Is coming to fruition. Ooh, Adam Cole with the oh, oh god, drop kick. almost a claymore, and now Adam Cole picking up Jack Gallagher. Irish whipping to the corner. Ooh, goes for a forearm, just a little short right there. Oh, it makes up for it with a kick to the midsection. And now, oh, Adam Cole choking, choking him, choking Gallagher to the ground. He's got his fingers. He's got his fingers right around. <laughs> He's got his fingers right around. <laughs> what the hell? Right, there you go. He had his fingers right around the throat of Jack Gallagher. And now, for a couple stomps, he's going for a count. Ooh. And a one count. Gallagher kicks out. Of course, Gallagher. You have to think maybe he's running out of air right now because of what Adam Cole is doing. But oh, wait a minute, Hurricane oh, Rana. Rana. Oh, my God. This is some fast pace. You know, this is almost Luchador uh, uh, speed of action. As these two gentlemen having an amazing match. Oh, oh drop kick to the turnbuckle. Oh, now go for oh, the pin. Yeah, pin, pin here. Pin, to go to the third round of, two. of the Cruiserweight Championship. Oh, oh, and it was almost a three count. We got so close there. Wait a wait, minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What the hell? It's Noam Dar? 
What the? The Scottish supernova is here. What is he doing here? Charming? What? Well, he's a cruiserweight. Maybe he wants a part of this tournament. Adam Maybe Cole's he's uh, uh, Adam Cole. Adam Cole taking School advantage. Schoolboy. Takayuki Nakamura Jr. just got one, the pay one. Two. two. Oh, that kick out. Kick out two. Adam Cole trying to take advantage of the situation. Oh, my. He's another member of Undisputed Era now as Adam Cole teeters on the outside. I think he might be. He shot the middle state of Gallagher here. Oh, Gallagher yes, had no I do. He was coming it didn't make a difference right there. And now Irish up into the corner. Adam Cole. Oh, another Irish up into the other corner. But wait, Jack Gallagher. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is vintage Jack Gallagher right here. Ooh. Oh, and now Adam Cole. Ooh, gets reversed. Jack Gallagher, he's showing them he might have a one-up right here on Adam Cole. Yeah, Adam Cole goes to the outside there, uh, really fighting to get himself up. I can't believe it. Adam Cole rolling back into the ring, and now going for a truck to the face of Jack Gallagher. Catches the forearm to the face. Let's see Jack Gallagher, Irish right, to the corner. Ooh, oh, double oh, drop kick. Yeah. And now go for the pin again to advance to the third round of the tournament. One, two, three. That's it. No. Jack Gallagher no. wins. Just like that. Adam Cole has been eliminated. No. Tell me it isn't true. Tell me it isn't true. Terra Tank, tell, it's not true, Terra Tank. Adam Cole is gone. Terra Tank, it's Adam not true. Cole no. Terra Tank, that didn't happen. Terra Tank. He had lost. Adam Cole loses in the second round of the Cruiserweight Championship Tournament. Let me tell you something right now. Terra Tank. Jack Gallagher didn't win this match. Adam Cole lost it. Adam Cole, after trying to cheat and psychologically manipulate Jack Gallagher, has lost. That is true. Well, nonetheless... Jack Gallagher will go on into the third round of the Cruiserweight Championship Tournament and he's going to go up against either the winner of the match. It's going to be Kalisto going up against Ricochet in the second round next week. But for now, we know that the Undisputed Era is going to have to find another avenue into success. I'm just beside myself right now, Terra Tank. I, I am shocked as well. I mean, I said I wasn't going to call it because I wasn't sure after what we've seen from Gallagher last week. True. But, um, wow. Just wow. Well, moving on to the Million Dollar Championship Tournament, we've got Kofi Kingston and the New Day going up against Bobby Lashley. Coming to the ring by Leo Rush as a way to even out the numbers a little bit between the two competitors. That and much more Million Dollar Championship Tournament action coming up next. For Terra Tank, I'm one Jimmy Man. We'll be right back. Oh, WWE Universe! Don't you dare be sour! Clap for your longest reigning tag champs and feel the power! And here he is making the way to the ring, Kofi Kingston and the New Day. Of Heading course. out there, pancake as usual. Of course. Now, uh, yeah, a lot of people, as we return back to programming here on Monday Night Monarchy, a lot of people think that the New Day are, would you would say, a, a bit of a comedy trio. Somewhat uh, of take lightly of the work that they do. But you know what? I haven't seen three workers that work as hard as these three gentlemen right here. The New Day, Xavier Woods, Biggie, and of course the the competitor in this next match, Kofi Kingston. What is your opinion of the New Day? I think they look like they have a really good time, but when they're in the ring, they take it seriously. Kofi Kingston's a living and better. And um, his work has proven himself time and time again. I always thought he'd be the future. 
of professional wrestling. I would say that Kobe Kingston, while not being the face of of uh, the next era of uh, professional wrestling, I would say that he's a I would, I would say a pioneer of the next level of wrestling that we're starting to see in this new day. But uh, uh, no pun intended, of course. But here comes the man, Bobby Lashley, and boy, do we love Bobby! <laughs> yes, we do. Oh my! Force the rush. Uh, escorting him to the ring. And we've seen Bobby Lashley on WWE programming recently. Fight the likes of Finn Balor. Uh, he has uh, had an off and on again relationship with Leo Rush, but Leo Rush is here to accompany him in this match. And uh, despite the fact that New Day had uh, uh, no interference whatsoever in the Big Show versus Kofi Kingston match, uh, I guess this is more or less a, an insurance policy for Bobby Lashley. Uh, I think that he was smart in doing this. I think he's basically seeing the competition ahead of him, and he's trying to uh, ensure that nothing can happen whatsoever. Oh, New Day are upstanding people. I don't know if Leo Rush will stay out of this competition. Oh, wow, well, you know, that is fair. I, I guess at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. It's all about who wins the, the, the match. But uh, here we go in a first uh, or second round shoulder matchup as uh, Kofi Kingston eats a shoulder for his troubles. Ooh, a, a kick to the midsection as Kofi Kingston double oh stomp right God. there. Kick to the back. Quick, whatever, right there by Kofi Kingston. And now, oh, another another shoulder, huge block. shoulder block. Right now, Bobby Lashley showing that power advantage in this match. Kofi Kingston eats a suplex for his troubles pin, but the. It's just a quick no, not even a one count. Still too early, but Bobby Lashley, ooh, gets a, ooh. Almost a, a reverse Russian leg sweep, and oh, he's got Kofi Kingston on the shoulders, and he throws him to the mat. Kofi rolls to the outside, Leo will back up, and this is the face of Bobby Lashley. Into the ropes. Ooh, oh, leave wrong, oh. but Lashley sees it coming, and now, looking at slam, but, uh, Kofi Kingston right onto his knee. Bobby Lashley. Irish oh. oh, he jumps over. Leapfrog. Wait a minute. Oh, arm drag. Arm drag by Bobby Lashley. And now Bobby Lashley. Lashley. Picking up Kofi Kingston. Because they're running power, power slam, perhaps. Oh, oh no. no. Dropping Kofi Kingston on his shoulders. And now, Gut first. Oh, stop. Oh, stop to the face. So far, it's been all Bobby. Yeah, Bobby Lashley's dominated. Oh, a knee to the face. Bobby Lashley now singling for Lashley the hand already. He's ending it all right already. here. Oh, right Kofi Kingston. Kofi Kingston with the reversal. Oh. Ooh, showing some life right here in this match, trying to drown the giant that is Bobby Lashley, former MMA fighter, of course, and we've seen him be world champion in, in many different avenues, and now looking for that stalling that suplex. That blood rush to the head of Kofi yep. Kingston. All that blood rushes to the head of Kofi Kingston, it's going to be hard for him to even know where he's at, let alone kick out of a maneuver as he gets slammed. Pain by Bobby Lashley, that could be it right there. Wow. Looking to advance into the third Two. round of the tournament, that could be it. Three, oh, it's yes. over. Bobby Lashley wins. Bobby Lashley in a very quick match just takes it all away. I, I can't believe what I just saw. He, neither. he let the blood rush to the head of Kofi Kingston before slamming him on his back to the mat. And one, two, three, it was over. Wow. Wow. And you, and you know, I would say Kofi Kingston was the underdog in this match, right? But I would have never thought that both Leo Rush and the New Day did not interfere. It was just a straight one on one. It was a very clean match. That's what I like to see here at the Monarchy Compound. And Bobby Lashley, of course, will revel in his win. Good I, I for you, Bobby. I think he was the underdog, but I'm very shocked to uh, how much offense he got in. Very little. I would say that it's sho it's shocking, but it's, it's it's not entirely surprising because of the fact that when you look at it, Bobby Lashley was an MMA fighter, and that's he's fighting for money right there, literally. So uh, it's very interesting to see this happen, but. Uh, well, luckily, we've got even more action tonight in what I would say is a stacked card, and it's just part of the uh, repercussions from that house show that we had that we were talking about, and of course, this next match is going to be another second round matchup of the Million Dollar Championship Tournament. Uh, uh, none other than Drew McIntyre will face off against Daniel Bryan. Oh, well, this got to be good. The Scottish, the exact, I, I, I don't think it's just me, I think it's going to be great. Drew McIntyre, the Scottish psychopath, goes up against the GOAT, Daniel Bryan. That and much more coming up next on Monday Night Monarchy.
the one and only Daniel Bryan making his way to the ring. And we're we back. back. Exactly. I'm about to say right now, we got a variety of uh, Veritarian thing, and I'm going to tell you, we're back with some more action, and it's Drew McIntyre facing off against this man right here, the leader of the Yes or No movement, depending on when or where he is at. Daniel Bryan. Absolute sea of humanity on their feet, cheering along with Daniel Bryan, who's looking to beat the odds by beating the person who has a huge height and weight advantage, but something that Drew McIntyre will never have is the wrestling advantage. And that's not a knock on Drew McIntyre because he's a he's not a slouch. He's not even he's not even close. He is one of the best wrestlers we have on the roster right now. But Daniel Bryan He's a whole other animal. I think this is going to be a, an amazing match, but at the end of the day, I think Daniel Bryan has this one. It's going to be difficult to say, but here we go with Drew McIntyre. After the craziness we've seen tonight, who knows what will happen. True. And there he is, Drew McIntyre. The chosen one. Now, Drew McIntyre, he stands close to almost seven feet, pretty freaking tall. Yes, definitely. He's a, a couple of inches away from seven feet tall. And Daniel Bryan is practically average size when it comes to height. Now, he's definitely not averagely skilled, but when it comes to pure mass and weight, there's no comparison. Drew McIntyre is an absolute beast. I don't really think it matters. We've seen... Daniel Bryan on multiple occasions tap out Batista true. of all people true. in this tournament true. as well. It's true. Uh, we've seen him. Uh, he's beaten the likes of uh, Batista. And Batista is, is MMA uh, talent right there. Yes, he is. And, and it's not the first time he's tapped him out. Daniel Bryan has tapped out so many different people. And he's beat so many different like legends. We have to really like understand that. Someone who beats AJ Styles, someone who, who who gets wins over like CM Punk, triple threat match Triple H and Batista. It, someone and who winning. Exactly. Well, he beat Triple H, and then he was going to be Randy Orton and Batista. Yeah, Randy Orton and Batista. And so it, it's, it's it, those are a lot. Those are air balls. Everybody in their evolution. And so we're, <laughs> pretty much, with the yeah. exception of Ric Flair, and now we'll see. Oh, going quickly for that clothesline. And it's Drew McIntyre elbow to the legs, immediately using his uh, speed and strength advantage. And unfortunately, we won't get to see him and Ric Flair go at it because Ric Flair was disqualified during our live event. Exactly. We we uh, we will show that uh, the, the the footage, or at least the the photos we have from that footage later on tonight when we talk a little bit more about what exactly happened. Oh, Ooh. good back suplex by Drew McIntyre and a stomp to the the midsection, and Drew McIntyre. Gut wrench suplex. Oh my god. Oh, almost a gun a gut wrench power bomb. Almost, it was close to it. And now Drew McIntyre into the ropes. He's been tossing around Daniel Bryan like it's nothing. Ooh, and Daniel, Daniel Bryan, Bryan coming back to kick. Exactly. Oh, oh but he He's gets kinda... caught in a huge elbow to his thigh. And Drew McIntyre again, these brutal strikes. An absolute onslaught of offense. Face Slammers. first. Head to turnbuckle. Oh, oh just time. like oh my god. That. Daniel Bryan is getting wrecked. That is Drew McIntyre has taken complete control of this match. Man, I took Daniel Bryan a little bit too uh, seriously Ooh. here tonight. Perhaps. It was amazing, but oh my god, McIntyre dominating this M match. M I, you know what, Tara Tank, I'll, I'll go one oh, above. Oh, wait a minute, here comes Daniel I'll Bryan. I'll go one above and I'll say that I don't think that we overestimate. I don't think we overestimated Daniel Bryan. I think we underestimated Drew McIntyre because he's reached for that pass screen right now and he wants to go to the third round of this I tournament. Think you, I agree. Oh my god. Power move. Oh my god. And it should be noted, uh, Tara Tank, that the winner of this match will fight either Kevin Nash or Triple H, which will be happening later on tonight. Uh, you know, when it comes down to it, either of these men can have a good fight up against Triple H or Kevin Nash, but I think if anybody has an advantage, it's it's Daniel Bryan if he gets ahead. Uh, I don't know if Drew McIntyre can take on someone oh, headbutt to Daniel with Bryan. the stature of Kevin Nash or Triple H, but Watch here he man. is. One, two. two. Oh. oh my god, that was too close for comfort. Here he is making a statement as to why he just might be considered to be the winner of this entire tournament. And now grabbing Daniel Bryan. Bryan, Bryan Ooh. getting out of it. Oh. Ooh. Slamming. Drew McIntyre right into the mat. And now, Daniel Bryan 
Ooh, double hook. Gets a German suplex. Uh, I believe that's a dragon suplex. And now... Dragon suplex. Tony. The crowd sounding yes. Oh, Ooh. European uppercut. And now get to the midsection. Really trying to damage the Scottish psychopath. Irish whip. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. oh. And then look. It looked like he was going to go for some sort of wrist lock. The thing got countered by Drew McIntyre. with no power. Oh. Hey, so Brian, throw on the outside. No, no, no. What Wait the hell? Man. Don't do it, Drew. Why? Oh, oh my God. Top of Cody Hero. Oh, my God. Drew McIntyre. Who would have thought that Drew McIntyre would be the one to dive in this match? I know. Oh, my God. Ooh, kick to the midsection. And We're seeing so much on. tonight. It's almost like a reverse match. Ooh, oh. a strike to the face. Drew. Lutez press. Shades of Stone Cold. Steve Austin as he rains down those thing. fists. And now looking for the pin right here on oh. Daniel Bryan. Is this you right here? Oh, oh and Daniel Another Bryan. Another two count. Kicks out right there. And uh, Drew McIntyre. The crowd is going wild. Exactly. Um, this crowd is, this crowd has been... Oh. Ooh, again with that almost a semi-power bomb. But it, it looks like a throw. Um, this crowd has been absolutely electric since the beginning of the entrances, honestly. They have. Oh, They're John. excited. Oh, yeah. my God. It, would you consider this a, a David versus Goliath type matchup here as Daniel Bryan gets those yes kicks over and over again? I would consider that. Oh. And David is coming back. That is true. As you see, Daniel Bryan, don't call him David because he's Daniel. As <laughs> he's getting that right there. He's hyping up the crowd. Looking for that running knee. Running knee. To advance into the third round of the tournament. Can he do it? And oh. a kick out by Drew McIntyre. I don't think it's going to do it. I'm going to tell you right now, Tara Tank, there's only one thing that's going to do it, and it's the Yabel lock. He needs to get that in if he wants to tap out and go to the next round of this tournament, the next part of what could be his next evolution of his tournament, of his career. I agree. Drew McIntyre has weakened Daniel Bryan. Mm. A lot through this match. He really needs to put in that submission maneuver and try to end it in the middle of the ring. Exactly. He needs to take advantage of Drew McIntyre while he's down. And now you see him working on the leg. Perhaps Daniel Bryan trying to slow down. Ooh, he's working on the now. Oh, ooh, and he works on the legs, arms, and face. He's really just giving ooh, oh. an overall beatdown of well, the body of Drew McIntyre. As he's just taking damage so far now. Wait for the headlock. Oh. Shinbreaker, right onto oh, the knee. Lands. Ooh, and a corkscrew. Just go ahead and lay down right there. Drew McIntyre as he take a little bit of damage from Daniel Bryan. And now, ooh. Drew McIntyre fighting back now. Perhaps rallying. Oh, and there's that flex. He's showing the fact that he thinks he's stronger than Daniel Bryan. He thinks that he's bigger, more important. And oh, Daniel he's going Bryan. for a headbutt. But, oh, and here we go again. Those classic yes kicks. Right to the chest of Drew McIntyre, who keeps getting caught with these special maneuvers. Is that going to make a difference in this in this entire match? Thank you. Well, oh, God. Oh, now Daniel Bryan. What's he thinking here? Right, he's going to slim the body of Drew McIntyre. Yes. Oh, off God. of the, the top rope. And now, what does he think? He's got to go for that yes lock right now. Oh. McIntyre. Uh, with the reversal. Daniel Bryan with a reversal of his own. Goes for a knee. Drew McIntyre says no. He's grabbing him. Oh, oh my oh. God. Oh. He's just dropped him right there. Almost a one drop, but now he's going for the pin on Daniel Bryan. Will this be the one, upset of two. the night? Oh. oh my god, I thought it was over right there. I thought it was over right there, Terra Tank. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looking for that claim over hatch? I think he is. Looking for that claim over hatch? Oh, that was a double under hook. Did he do this? How he advanced to the second round? Oh, oh, he got it. He got it. There it goes. One for the pin. One. one. Two, two. And a kick out by Daniel Bryan. It's going to take much more than to put down Daniel Bryan. He wants that million dollar paycheck. Uh oh. Drew McIntyre sizing up his opponent, perhaps thinking about what he can do. Oh, and that's what he's going to do. Drop fist down and oh, more strikes. Like of course, one of these men oh. will face Triple H or, or Kevin Nash. And now Daniel Bryan. Wait, wait, wait. What the wait hell? a minute. What? Neville? Uh, Jack Gallagher? I mean, Jack Gallagher. Wait a minute. Why are all these people constantly help helping Drew McIntyre? What the heck? Another? Wait, favorable? Wait, 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 school wait boy. a minute. He's school going for He's got him on a school boy. Wait, is Daniel Bryan done? One, That's a lot of weight on his two. shoulders, too. Oh, oh, I thought it was over right there. We almost saw a screw job right now in this match. And, uh oh, 
Jack Gallagher almost interfering. Is he going after the ref or something? Oh, wait, no. He just went off the other side. What's what he doing? A, what, a distraction, perhaps? And now it looks like it's going to work because Drew McIntyre's got a power bomb situated. Oh, oh, oh gold the- bomb. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dragging the lifeless corpse down to Brian oh, to the middle of the ring in the face. No. Yeah, Brian rolls out. Taking out. Oh, I know. He's going to the top rope. He's going to fly again. He oh, he, he, he oh, missed. Elbow. He missed. Damn. Ooh, Daniel Bryan with his own kicks. He gets a slap to the chest, but no, it doesn't work. Daniel Bryan getting the high ground again by going inside of the ring. No, Daniel Bryan. Ooh. Ooh. I think he was, like, thinking that Drew McIntyre wasn't going to be ready for his own offense, but then he caught a fist for his troubles. Body, a big old stinger splash almost to the back of Daniel Bryan in a gut wrench. Looking for that gut wrench. Power bomb almost. Again. I don't know why all these people keep coming out to help Bru- uh, Drew McIntyre, but do you think maybe he's paying off people or something? Maybe. I don't understand it. This is a weird group of people here. Rick Flair. First now, son. Now, now Jack the Gallagher. gentleman, Jack Gallagher. Who, who oh, we saw earlier Two. went further into their mouth. Oh. oh, oh my God. I thought it was I over was right there. I thought that was, was right two and a half. <laughs> Daniel Bryan is just holding on for dear life, and oh, if he gets hit with this, another double underhook DDT, it's over. Double underhook. Yeah, he's One, it two, in. And, boom. and it's done. Good night, Daniel Bryan. The Cinderella story for Daniel One, Bryan ends here. One, two, two and, and you kick oh. out, kick out. I don't know about that. I think the referee kind of. The, the referee took a while to get into position. Wow, but wait, oh, Drew McIntyre. High Why risk again. High risk. High reward. Looking to try and do some damage. Huge and he gets elbow. a huge elbow to the chest of Daniel Bryan for the top Shades road. of Macho Man and more. Fist to the face of Daniel Bryan. Oh my god. And now, Jawbreaker. Daniel Bryan still trying to fight back. Oh, here it comes. Wait, here wait comes. a minute. Yabella. Is he going to get it? Yabella. Yabella He's got the Yabella is Yabella lock there. Oh my god. It's yeah. tapped. He, he tapped, tapped out immediately. He tapped, he tapped out. out. With the Yabella lock. No one escapes the Yabella lock. Oh my god. Drew McIntyre almost had this. No one escapes the Yabella lock. I told you, Terra Tank, and look how it ended. If it wasn't for that oh. referee. Oh my god. Well, give, give Drew McIntyre credit. He did so much in this match. All, he took all this damage. He, he took all the. He reversed a lot of Daniel Bryan's offense. He, he took even more damage. And at the end of the day, even despite a distraction on behalf of Drew McIntyre by Jack Gallagher, in what I would say is questionable. Uh, Me too. Daniel Bryan wins in the face of adversity, and he will go on to face either Kevin Nash or Triple H. Either way, you could say that the Yes movement continues for now. I mean, if it wasn't for the slowness of the referee, this could have been a very different scenario. Uh, are you saying that there was controversy here, Tarantino? I think there was. Oh. It took the referee a while to get to his knees and count that, and it was still a two and a half. I think it would have been over if that extra second was given to him. Well, you know what? You're entitled to that opinion, Tara Tank, and I, but I will tell you. way, he made him tap, so there's it's undeniable victory. It's, at the end of the day, yeah, that, that is true, but uh, I mean, uh, you know, well, I think at the end of the day, Daniel Bryan got the victory because the, the, the bell rang and he won. And he was a clever winner, so that's where I could leave it, but. What a match. Hell Just a match. What a match. Up next, we got Mustafa Ali versus the Hurricane. Of course, another matchup in the Cruiserweight Championship Tournament. It's actually going to be a second rounder. And uh, none other than the Hurricane. Fresh off of the victory off of Marty Scroll versus Mustafa Ali, who recently beat Prince Devitt, Finn Balor. That and much more coming up next on Monday Night Monarchy. For a terror tank, I'm Witcher Man. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Monday Night Monarchy. I am one charming man, and we are here at the uh, Monarchy Compound watching some more Cruiserweight Championship Tournament matches as part of our uh, 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 month-long tournament uh, a-thon, if you will. 
as uh, um, Mustafa Ali makes his way to the entrance now. Mustafa Ali, I would say, pulled off the upset against Finn Balor. I um, would 100% agree with you there. Yeah, he beat him a couple weeks ago, and uh, now Mustafa Ali looking to claw his way into the third round. And uh, talk about another underdog. Yeah. The Hurricane is here, and he beat Marty Scurroll in his last match. And that was very interesting because when you look at it, these two are both underdogs. So what happens when they go against each other? That's a very good question. What we're about to find out right now is uh, Hurricane comes. Definitely not Gregory Helms, but looks just like him and is just about as handsome. Um, you know, when, when you talk about the Hurricane, he's a former Cruiserweight champion. So you have to understand that he is used to holding that kind of championship. He's used to being a part of that, you know, yeah. that grandeur, the main event status. And he's very determined to get back to this. I mean, in the last matches, you talked about him winning. Mm -hmm. He was also bloody and broken by the oh, end of yeah. it. Oh, yeah. He took a lot of damage from Marty Scurll. A he lot took of a abuse. Lot of damage, yes. And now he's looking to basically take a win against Mustafa Ali. But I would say that this is very going to be interesting because it's a matchup of style. Gregory Helms, uh, or well, not Gregory Helms, has actually made up a lot of maneuvers and created a lot of very distinctly unique holds and and and, and maneuvers just in general. Right. But Mustafa Ali, while not necessarily being an innovator, is definitely something new because he does things in a special way you know he's very fast totally understand as he's still get into a lockup right here back into the corner looks like they will hold for a little bit too long of course Japanese referee Takumi Nakamura Jr. will have to break them Once up again breaking people up tonight very professional wrestling we've been seeing all yes, night very long. professional uh, very few uh, I swear. Oh. Well, with the exception oh. of that interference we just saw oh. almost a, 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 a rough rider right there oh. by Hurricane uh, Double leg take down by Mustafa Ali goes for the thump. Hurricane dodges, but then gets a fist for his troubles. Another fist to the face as he's in the corner. Another one out. Hurricane reverses by throwing Mustafa Ali, now throwing his own stripes. Another one. Uh oh. And now Mustafa Ali with the counter. Now what is he thinking here? Oh. Ooh. Tornado DDT from the second rope. The most dangerous rope. And you'll see Mustafa Ali going for the quick pin right here. Is it enough to put away Hurricane in a squash match? It would be over. Not one. Today. one count, but you know, one count in like the first 30 seconds, you know, that's very interesting for Mustafa yeah, Ali. And that's where he was taking his breath. It could be. I'm very, I'm very, oh, and the athleticism of Mustafa Ali. But uh, a little bit of showboating in this match, and... Uh, what is your opinion on showboating in tournament matches, uh, Terror Tank? Because I know for one thing, you are someone who, who wants the sanctity of respect in wrestling to remain. Uh, as you see, Hurricane goes into the pin, gets a one count. And uh, so tell me, what do you think about taunting in wrestling? I think there's no place for it in the ring, or especially during a match. Especially in a tournament where we have so much to gain and so much to lose. So in your eyes, you think it's a waste of opportunity? It's a waste of time. Ooh. You could be hurting your competitor. Well, so far, why would you be why would you be rallying in the crowd when you have your competitor right there Ooh. getting his strength back up? Well, so far it looks like it's working for Mustafa Ali. You know, one can give you a counter argument and Wait say, a minute. perhaps the oh. oh, I was gonna say perhaps it's a way for the person to psych themselves up and give them that energy to move on into the next part of the match. But Mustafa Ali, oh, but Hurricane, oh, long blower. Hurricane showing off and getting. You're getting spiked in the back there. Oh, and another kick out of one. After all that damage, it's still a kick out of one. I'm starting to think that your theory that he had a he wanted a one second breather might be right. Mustafa Ali taking a break. What the hell? He's going, going far. Outside. And now calling for Hurricane. But Hurricane's almost across the ring. How the hell is Mustafa? What, the, what is he thinking? Oh, minute, roll it. In. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, and now Mustafa Ali. He, he might have got clothesline, but it looked like he was able to get his balance back up in the ring. Oh, Hurricane. Elbow to the midsection. See, that, that maneuver was very showboaty, and it was worked against him. That's, right. You know what? I'll give you that. that, that. And now super kick. Oh, no, clothesline to the outside. Oh, the outside. The small oh, back hitting the floor. You know what? Say what you will about his showboat. You know, yeah, he could be doing more damage. Yeah, he should be working on the fact that he's got an advantage over a downed opponent. But at the end of the day, Mustafa Ali is an entertainer. And he's here to entertain the people here in, in, in the Monarchy Universe. Ooh, and what the hell was that by Hurricane? He looked like almost like a leapfrog. And now, Mustafa Ali went for almost a, a, a takedown. Get, catches Hurricane's leg. Ooh. And now he's picking up Hurricane. M Mustafa Ali. Irish whip into the corner. Mustafa Ali. He grabs Hurricane. Hurricane. Ooh, looks like he's getting out of it. 
couple of elbows to the side of the head of Masafa Ali will get him free. Oh, super, super kick. kick. Wait, 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 wait. Chin oh. and suplex. Oh, but look. Look for the pin. It was a straight jacket suplex with a bridge. And despite the fact that he pinned, Mustafa Ali's toes were touching the edge of the ropes. And now, uh-oh. That yeah, was very close Ooh. to the rope. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, not in this nice. Yeah, yes. sorry. Don't do this, Hurricane. No, we're going to end his He's career. Oh, oh, my God. My, oh, my God. Hurricane really getting up to his feet. Picking up Mustafa Ali. How is Mustafa Ali even alive right now? He's going to steal oh. step to his advantage there. Slamming the face of Mustafa Ali right into it. Let me tell you right now, Terry Tank. I'm surprised. I'm surprised right now that Mustafa Ali is even conscious. Me he too. he was just thrown. How many feet is that? Like twenty feet? He was twenty minute. feet in the He's air. Going for it again. Oh, oh face first on the apron. Wait, I think Japanese referee Takuya Nakamura Jr. was at a count of like six and oh Hurricane taking advantage. And, oh, pulling the face of Mustafa Ali onto the ropes, and now he's got the opportunity Ooh. to do a form to the back, turning around Mustafa Ali. What the hell? Double butterfly in a straight jacket, German suplex, looking for the win to advance to the next round. And Mustafa only gets out now. So far, I think it's pretty. So far, I think it's 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 pretty quick action right here. Oh, Hurricane, his infamous choke clamp. Will Mustafa Ali fall victim to that move that ended the match against the Rock? And now here comes the pin. Oh, one, two. Three, Three, it's oh. over. The Hurricane wins. The Hurricane wins. Mustafa Ali has been eliminated. Hold on a second, Terrate. I, I need a moment to process this right now. Wait, hold, wait, wait. As I process this, hold on. Hold on. When somebody's having in the ring. Mustafa Ali, hey, 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 hey. This is what I love about this kind of wrestling, you know? That's what I'm talking about. Some real respect shown between two great competitors. Mustafa Ali, he gave it everything he could. But the Hurricane, he pulled up the upset victory. It went out of call in his underdog match, I would say. But pretty good match right there when it comes to how fastly paced that was. Very good match. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of sportsmen like Thondek tonight. Exactly. Very pro day, day today. Yeah. Very pro day today. Uh, well, that was a great example of the frenetic action that the uh, Cruiserweight division can give us. But coming up next... Oh, it's our semi-main of the. Um, it's our semi-main event. Former Click members will go face to face. Kevin Nash goes up against former buddy Triple H. One on one. Winner going against the winner of the match. Oh, Daniel Bryan actually. Yeah, in going the third Daniel round. Bryan. To face Daniel Bryan in the third round of the Million Dollar Championship Tournament. Coming up next for Tamar Tank. I'm One Champion Man. We'll be right back. Uh, coming to the ring now, look with the face of determination as he goes against his former buddy and now rival, uh, Kevin Nash. These guys have been through a lot in their careers from being click members to opposing members, one in DX, one in the NWO. Uh, both uh, were um, founding members of those uh, two organizations. Um, very, very hard hitting competitors here. What do you think is going to happen tonight, Charming? Well, you know, I think at the end of the day, Terry Tank, we need to uh, keep in mind that there's one person who would become the king of kings and there was one person who would go on and do shoot interviews on YouTube <laughs> and that's there's Kevin Nash and there's Triple H and they're in different leagues but they're friends and so I'm supposed to think that for some reason because they're friends this match has some heat to it I'll tell you right now Triple H is going to put Kevin Nash down just like he did at TLC in that sledgehammer ladder match both of you guys are very tough competitors mm -hmm. their friendship or all Beef does not matter when they're in this ring. They just want the win. That's all they want. When they taste or smell blood, they go after. That's fair enough. And you know, uh, we talked about uh, how these two competitors, you know, they 
They definitely have some history. And I'll, I'll give you that much. But you know what? I hate to say this, but it does not matter. Because the winner of this match is just going to end up being the loser of the match against Daniel Bryan. Wow, big words to some legendary wrestlers. And I, you know, I'm not saying that they're not. But when it comes to legendary, Daniel Bryan, he's just about the epitome. But that, that, that's neither here nor there. Right now we need to focus on what's going on inside of the ring. And I admit, I'm getting a little carried away right now by the greatness of Daniel Bryan and that victory he had over Drew McIntyre earlier tonight. But you'll see that. Right now, Triple H is going to go against Kevin Nash. And uh, Triple H had a very dominant victory against Kevin Owens. We can't forget he did. that. He did. And we looked down on Kevin Nash in his last match. We did not think he would make it through. And he ended up winning. He did not just win. Uh, he actually won pretty handily against Pentagon. He did. He did. And we we liked we pegged Pentagon as a favorite. To be honest with you, because we saw his stuff in Lucha Underground. We've seen his stuff in MLW. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Another former Click member and NWO member, Scott Hall, is escorting Kevin Nash to the ring tonight. He's actually following him to the ring. I thought he was maybe just out there to just say, oh, see what's up or say hi or something. But that's Scott Hall, and he's out here. Scott Hall, I mean, this is a throwback. Almost making me think that Shawn Michaels should be a Triple H's sign. I, I agree. I mean, the NWO movie is playing right now as well. Mm -hmm. What could this mean? This ain't a, a funky video. No, no, this is Frank Shelley's Rock House as the Diesel comes out. And uh, big sexy Kevin Nash. Let me tell you right now, this guy was at one point the longest reigning WWE champion in the history of the business. But, uh... I don't think he can do it against the King of Kings, and even though he might say it's too sweet, this loss is going to be bitter for him to swallow. Wow, big, big word. Yeah. You, you uh, ruled against him last time, and you're doing it again tonight. Well, we'll see what happens, because you were wrong about him. You know, I, I, I will say this, though. You, know, you did have a point the other week when you said that underdogs win a lot in this, uh, in this, in this world, in the monarchy. Uh, universe and so when it comes down to it, it anything can happen but you see Triple H went for a knee and Kevin Nash and did not fall and now huge face buster onto the knee and now Kevin Nash ooh, with ooh, a fist Kevin to the Nash. face and now ooh, just Kevin Nash cannot be grounded here right now he's looking like he's outweighing and out like he has more strength than Triple H they oh, drops him God. down onto his, 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 his neck and his throat, Scott Hall cheering him on on the outside as he's throwing these clubbing blows, sidewalk slam, it's good onto the mat. And now, uh, when it comes to this match, uh, who do you think has the wrestling advantage? Who do you think here has a little bit more when it comes to getting things done in the middle of the ring, as yeah, you'll see? Triple H, clothesline to the outside, Kevin Nash telling him to get back in. No, Kevin Nash going to the outside. I would normally say Triple H here, but it looks like he is being... Dominated by Kevin Nash. I mean, I would honestly say that Kevin Nash. If, oh, oh, as he gets a kick to the midsection, now looking for the sidewalk slam. Oh, gets out of the Triple H knew that was gonna really hurt his back right there, and now Triple H grabbing neck breaker. Neck breaker oh, good. was good onto the former NWO member, and now Kevin Nash really onto his feet, and now looking perhaps for his sidewalk own side. Oh my God! Triple H with his own sidewalk slam. Blitz getting his momentum back here on the outside. Here we go, Kevin Nash. Smash the oh. face of Kevin Nash onto the side of the ring. Onto the hardest part of the, the ring. The hardest part, indeed. Oh, and now, true. Oh, Kevin Nash, but, you know, he's a tough SOB, and he's not going to take some, some some stuff like that. He's not going to take Gruff from Triple H. Neck, neck breaker, breaker to the Triple H. So far, it's, I would say, back and forth, 100%. Breaking that neck. Really, really working the neck of Triple mm -hmm. H now. Oh, God, and the strength of Kevin Nash. No, that does not feel good. No, it does not. But you know what? I would go as far Side as to say... Oh, again. Oh, and Triple H gets out again. Exactly. He's really scouting. There's a reason why they call him the Cerebral Assassin as he gets that clothesline onto Kevin Nash. And Kevin Nash trying to get back up to his feet. That was a major reversal. Spine oh, Buster. God, spine Buster. Vintage Triple H. Oh, oh my God. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Scott, Scott Hall. Hall. Scott Hall. Trying to distract the referee for the time being. But nonetheless, Triple H... He's going to get that pedigree regardless. Pedigree. Kevin Nash still... Uh, Wait a minute, but, but Triple Scott H... Hall is still um, 
Triple H knew Scott Hall was distracting the referee, so he went, got off with a pin. He knew it wouldn't it'd be worthless at this point. There's a reason why they call him the Cerebral Assassin, and it's because he's out here with the intelligence to know how to be the fireman's carry. Way we fireman's carry by Kevin Nash, and now using his gigantic hand, the oh, big footer, boot with a big boot to the face, and now go for the pin on Triple H. We're going to put him away right here, right now. Oh. Almost a two count there. Kevin Nash almost advanced to the next round to fight Daniel Bryan. And now. Oh, my God. I, wait, wait, is that a, a chair in the I ring? I think there's a chair in the ring. What I think Scott Hall put a chair in the ring. Oh, well, it, it remains to be seen if it would be used, but the, sh the, the knee of Triple H. Wait a minute. Oh, He's distracting. The no. Distracting the referee. Oh. oh, my God. And throwing it outside so the referee can't see it. Oh, he's going for Terror take. I'm disgusted by what I just Wait saw right now. Wait a minute. I'm disgusted at what I just saw right now. Jack Knight No. No. Uh, it's all... Oh, so he gets out of it! He gets out of it! Triple H! Triple H showing some absolute resiliency right now as he just threw almost a 300-pounder over his shoulders looking to try and end everything right here straight to the back. Another one. Scott Hall. He's been trying everything to distract the referee and make things in favor. And we oh. saw Triple H, he took a steel chair right to the face. He did. How much of him is actually there? Oh, I agree. I agree. Will this be it? Will he put away his former He's friend? It. He's got it. To advance to the next round and face Daniel Bryan for the Million Dollar Championship third round. One, two, three. Three and two Triple H there it is. The win. And good game from Kevin Nash. Oh, and Kevin Nash dominating that whole match there. Very wise to bring out Scott Hall. He ended up being a very big factor in him lasting longer. That first pedigree could have been the one that put him away, but he had a little bit more time to recover thanks to his buddy, Scott Hall. But you can only survive so many pedigrees. Yep. And here was that jackknife powerbomb that we thought was going to happen. But look, the wherewithal of Triple H. He got out of it and got this pedigree. And it was over right then and there. I can't believe it. He's going to go up against Daniel Bryan. and I'm going to call it right now. Today. Right now. This second. Daniel Bryan's going to win that match. You bell up. It seems to be the trend so far, Charlie. Uh, it's going to continue to watch. But nonetheless, if there's anybody who can do an upset and piss off the crowd, it's definitely Triple H. It definitely is. Oh, well, I am... Shocked by what we see tonight. If well, he would have went seven foot high and got that jackknife power one, it would have been it over. It would have been absolutely over. Triple I H agree. knew that, and he got out of it for the pedigree. The for where, the what, what, uh, what a show of uh, wherewithal. What a show of intelligence and, and foresight by the King of Kings. But next, we got the main event of tonight's event. And let me tell you right now, this is a barn burner, if I ever seen one. It's Brock versus Rock. That's coming up next. The next part of the Million Dollar Championship Tournament and a goddamn barn burner coming up next on Monday Night Monarchy for Terror Tank. We'll definitely be right back. Welcome back to Monday Night Monarchy and uh, Welp Tank. Here comes the pain. Oh, this match, I tell you, what, Ross Lesnar versus The Rock, they've made each other before mm -hmm. in singles action. Of course, their most infamous encounter was the one at SummerSlam in 2002 where Brock Lesnar beat him. Well, of course, with the help of Paul Heyman at the time, but oh, there course. is no Paul Heyman. It is not 2002. This is, he was not a MMA champion at the time, or a former MMA champion for that matter. And here he is, Brock Lesnar, after fighting in New Japan Pro Wrestling, after fighting in UFC, after being in the NF goddamn hell. He's right here in the WWE and in Monarchy Wrestling, and he's here to prove a point. Boom! Right then and there. The most, I would say the most freakish athlete we've ever seen in the WWE and probably the biggest threat to anyone. I agree, but The Rock is here to prove a point as well. He's been proving that point every single week. Yeah, you know, that's a fair assessment. You know, The Rock, you know, he's he won his uh, his first match technically in what was a controversial disqualification when Ric Flair just low below the people's champion. I mean, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. yeah, the Rock actually 
one against Matt Riddle and what was a, 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 a I would say a, a very shocking uh, twist of events when he actually submitted a former MMA star so here he goes from former MMA star to another former MMA star will we have the same outcome territory? If Brock Lesnar taps out to the run, that will be the biggest upset of my professional career tournament. I would not believe it. Wow. You know what? Brock Lesnar. I'll tell you one thing right now. I agree with you. It would be. But it won't be. I hate to be in I hate to, Today I'm feeling like I, I got a... Uh, the the, the wizard hat on right now. now. Yeah, yeah, let me tell you. Uh, tonight I've got myself a, a little bit of a, a penchant for predicting these matches because one Trumpy Man out here, and, and let me tell you, I've been having a close eye on all these matches. And we're starting to get into the next round, and we keep on proceeding. I'm starting to look at some of the things that have happened. Okay, Brock Lesnar got low blow by Ric Flair, right? So, how good are his testicles? That remains to be seen. But. The Rock was in a grueling match against Matt Riddle. I would say, at the end of the day, I'd rather take a, a one strike to the Yarbles not than to an entire Brock, match. But not to mention Brock Lesnar, he might have took a very, very hard shot in the testicular area. True. He was also out-wrestled and worked on hard by Ric Flair in that first match. I don't even know why Ric Flair did that, because he was dominating. But of all the things, I would say, it, it's very rare to see Brock Lesnar kind of go to his knees in pain, but it's it a low blow. A low blow is a low blow. Almost as if Ric Flair said, you know what, I don't even need this. Mm. Because he was down in that You know, that ties in with what you've been saying over these past few weeks. You, you seem to kind of believe that Ric Flair's got some ulterior motives in these tournaments. I think he does. I really think he does. Well, <laughs> well speculation aside... Uh, former world champions collide. Uh, uh, the Rock. Oh, cool. Oh, oh, oh Brock Lesnar no, saying not today. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, arm drag by Brock Lesnar. I don't know why The Rock is trying to take Brock Lesnar to Suplex City. Very gutsy maneuver by Dwayne Johnson. Ooh. You have to really work on Brock Lesnar if you can do any of those power maneuvers. Precisely. And I think that The Rock is starting to bite off more than he could possibly chew because. You know, this isn't Matt Riddle. You're not dealing with someone who is a lightweight. This is Brock Lesnar. He's pretty much pure meat and muscle. You know? Oh, Ooh. to the ankle of the world. You just stomp down. stomp. Oh, my. Oh, and a kick to the mid-second. Brock Lesnar with the form of the face so far. Using his uh, using his talent to strike. Yeah, and man. now, oh, here comes that submission muscling. Really working on the arm bar. Will Rock tap right here? Oh, Rock. Rolling him over and okay, getting out using of his weight against him. You know, The Rock looking for a snap suplex. Like, and he get, gets it's it. good. Ooh, quick pin right here with the disrespectful of form. Not even a half count for the People's Champion. Coming uh, over the back. And it, as, as The Rock is working on uh, Brock Lesnar in this match, Terra Tank, uh, I have to ask you, ooh, 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 oh as he goes face first into the turn buckle. Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar's down. You know, we've seen Brock Lesnar face smaller opponents, such as Kurt Angle. Um, you know, do you think that, that being smaller is truly an advantage, as people like Seth Rollins have said? I think it could be in some cases, but really skill is the advantage here. Mm. I wouldn't say that The Rock is, is, is shorter. Oh, as he gets that spine buster on Brock Lesnar, but he's just a little lighter. Wait uh -oh. a minute. Is he going for the Rock Bottom already? What? This could be a quick match right here. This could be a quick main event. He's got it. Rock Bottom! Rock, rock bottom. bottom! Rock Bottom! Rock Bottom onto the, the, the mat. And now the Brock Lesnar has to try and One, kick out to save his chances two, of winning a million dollar he championship. He dragged the lifeless corpse of Brock Lesnar into the middle of the ring for that two count. But let me tell you something right now. I think deep down inside, we both knew that it couldn't have been the end. I mean, it, technically it could have, but it couldn't have been. I mean, come on. Brock Lesnar's Brock Lesnar oh. uh, tie up. Ooh, the Rock showing strength. Oh, huge clothesline. And remember, earlier he tried that same clothesline and Brock Lesnar didn't even budge. And now Lesnar's reeling. Irish whip into the corner. Rock trying to go for a move. Oh, oh Brock Lesnar's no. coming back. Ooh, but now the Rock targeting the stomach. You know, Brock Lesnar infamously suffered from diverculitis and now. Oh, oh no. Oh, as soon as I say that, he's taking a suplex city. He's having enough. Enough is enough. As he's trying to get that third German suplex, it's good. Uh, the rock folding like an accordion onto the mat. 
Now Brock Lesnar. Look at Brock him. Brock is sitting up, but he's staring. Out. He's staring at the Rock, just taking his time. Oh, he's got the Rock. An F five. F five. F five. Get F five. Very close to the world. Too. Brock Lesnar One, to advance two. to win the main event. And oh, a kick out of two by the Rock. I can't believe it. The, win the winner of this match will actually go on to face Bobby Lashley in the third round of the Million Dollar Championship Tournament. This, of course, being the last second round matchup of the tournament. And, you know, I I'm very interested to see who can take... Wait a minute. Oh, The Rock with his own strength. Samoa drop. Giving love to his ancestry, his, his lineage, his tradition. The Rock... Uh oh, Brock, Rock, really well, Brock might not be okay. And look at The Rock, he's just kind of staring at him. Oh, went for a kick to the midsection, but I think Brock might have been playing a little bit of possum. And now, oh, oh fourth suplex is good by Brock Lesnar. And now, oh, those MMA knee, that, that, that MMA knee to the face of The Rock. And now, oh, the, the Rock giving his own knee to the face. You know, I would say that this is exactly almost like Matt Riddle. Wait a minute. It's oh, he's now, starting to work those legs. Perhaps trying to slow down the Beast Incarnate. You know, once you you don't have legs, you don't have your core. Once you don't have your core, you can't pick up your opponent. Uh, exactly, which means no more F5. True. Oh, close line. The Rock. Oh, wait, wait. The Rock, the Rock. Struggling to get to his feet here. You know, I, I hate to say it's like this and make The Rock seem like he's weak, but I mean, he's just spent so much energy just trying to ground the Beast Incarnate. Now, oh, European uppercut by Brock Lesnar, former NCAA champion. Oh, looking for that power bomb. Oh, and that's he gets it. He's going for another one. Oh, no, 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 no. One. Oh. And one more. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh. He's trying to almost end the career of The Rock. It seems that how way, can, but The Rock keeps coming back. How can he even do maneuvers if he's going to be crippled? Oh, I don't know. I needed the face, the top of the head, rather, of Brock Lesnar and a clothesline. Lesnar, Rock Lesnar, Lesnar of the ring. Outside. Wow. The Rock telling him to get his ass back into the ring. I guess you could say he's just telling him to just bring it. You just bring it. And now The Rock. And now he. Oh, I think that Brock Lesnar almost looked for an F5, and now he's getting Irish into the corner. The Rock. Going by a cool leg drop, and now he's getting him down on the floor. And now, The Rock with a guillotine hold. Ooh, catches the knee to the face for his troubles. <gasps> Brock Lesnar's got him on his shoulders. He get it? If he gets this, it might be over. Oh, he's got five. Him. He's very close F5. to the ropes here. Ooh, One, he, his lights are two. out. Oh, oh he kicks out a two. He kicked out a two. The Rock just kicked out at two. On it. A second at five. Float over. He did. Wow. Uh oh. Going Second rock, rock bottom. Were well, they going to trade finishers here? It would appear as though. He's as Brock Lesnar eats and rock bottom right to the mat. And now the rock, all he has to do is pin Lesnar for the one, two, three. And he gets to go on to face Bobby Lashley one, in the third round of the two, Million Dollar Championship Tournament. And oh, a kick at it, too. Wow. Both of them took multiple finishers on each other. Wow. I would go as far as to say, Terry Tank, this is a WrestleMania worthy match right here. I would agree with you here. Head, head crank by The Rock. Really working on that neck area of Brock Lesnar. And, and, and you know, it's very interesting that The Rock is working on the upper body of Brock Lesnar in this match. I'm, I'm trying to think, perhaps he's trying to wind out. He's trying to get Brock Lesnar winded. He's trying to, he's trying to make him run out of breath. And, and because we know The Rock, he can go the distance. Yeah. I agree with you there. I mean, and it's been showing. You know, Lesnar's been getting slower and slower as this match has went on. Drew, and a lot of matches that Bron, uh, not Bron, at Brock Lesnar actually has is that he actually has. Uh, there, he's quick. He's usually quick to put people in F fives. He's really quick to get that three count. He's that brutal. He's that devastating. But The Rock is showing so much resiliency. Ooh, double leg takedown. It's good by Brock Lesnar, and now The Rock is down on the mat. Brock Lesnar. Another German suplex. Ooh, no. wait a minute, but the rock counters out of it. The rock. Oh, rock bottom. Rock bottom. Rock bottom. Oh, 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 rock bottom. The third rock bottom. And he's going for the pinfall. Oh, one, one two, two, three. <gasps> it's over. The rock wins. I'm speechless. I'm, I'm speechless. I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say right now. I have nothing. I have no words. There are no words. The rock will go on to face. 
Bobby Lashley in the third round of the Million Dollar Championship Tournament. Brock Lesnar, the person I would consider the prize fighter, gets defeated by The Rock. The Rock takes out yet another MMA fighter. The Rock, in once again, Monarchy Wrestling. Proving himself tonight. Wow, but look at all this damage that he took. Suplex after suplex. Damage. The damage is not even close to talking about how badly he's been hurt in this entire affair. And The Rock. Not only did he take multiple German suplexes, but multiple F5s. Well, we'll see exactly what happens in the third rounds of the tournaments that we've been having. Thank you for tuning in to Monday Night Monarchy 4 one, uh, Terror Tank. I'm one German man, and we'll see you next week. Wow. Just one. Thank you. Do you smell what the rock is cooking?